Hi friends, let's talk about laws of motion. In last class, we have already discussed that there are different types of forces, especially mechanical forces. But we do not know at the time how to measure forces. But in this class, we will clear about this. Do you know who is the first person? tells us about forces, measurement of a forces, how to measure force, how do you experience the force. Yes, he is not other than Sir Isaac Newton. He is the British physician, astronomer, mathematician. So many plants are there at the time. Large number of junior uh, scientists are there, and they are fans of Sir Isaac Newton. They are called Newtonians. So, all Newtonians are the fans of Sir Isaac Newton. He wrote a book at the time and it is very much famous all around the world and it is, this is the masterpiece of the scientific world. The two see, books are there, they are masterpiece of the scientific world but it is one of the see, masterpiece of our scientific world. That book is known as the name of this book is Prince Pia. Archimedes and then Galileo. Then with Newton. Three scientists gave his opinion at the time first with Archimedes. A student in his class asked Archimedes, Sir, when uh, we throw a ball, uh, it moves in the air, after some time it falls down, and it also moves in the ground sometimes and stops here. Stop that. Uh, sometimes it, it, it is stopped there. Why it is happened? How it is happened? Similarly, a leaf when falling from the trees uh, and flying on the air, lastly it stopped on the ground, drop on the ground. Why it is happened? He told, Admit told, it is happened because these are the nature of her, his object. The stone has a specific property and the leaf has specific property. So they stairs like this. And it is directed by Supreme Lord, that is God. He believed at the time which God is the only who, uh, who is uh, the direction of a God, everything is happened. He thinks like that at, this, at his age. At the Archimedes says. After that, the age of a Galileo, he said he was sharp minded. He do different types of experiments eh, about the motion of a, any object. How would any object move sometimes and stop there? He was told, this, these are happened, but this is happened due to inertia. Every object is in motion due to inertia. Everybody is at rest due to inertia. He stated like that. And he also told that 
we cannot measure inertia we cannot experience inertia also at his age galileo is he thinks like that after galileo then according to newton newton is the only person who measured the force who tells us how to measure force how do we experience force and he came a law that law is the first law for newton newton's first law it states that the body it states that a body tends to be in uniform motion motion or at rest rest until and unless an external force applied on it this was the first law for motion a body is tends to be in motion uniform motion or it at rest unless and until uh, an external force applied on it the body if the body is in motion it wants to in motion uniform motion it continue its motion if, if a body is at rest it wants to in a rest position that statement also puts is stated by galileo also but little modification a would see statement eh, that is unless and until an external force applied on it and body cannot be moved at all a motion body cannot change its direction hmm. a rest body cannot be in motion eh, unless and until we apply rotational force on it the extra add on it that is known as a body is tends to be in rest tends to be in modest or in uniform motion that is known as inertia of that object so newton gave emphasis on that inertia in this law so that law is otherwise known as inertia law of inertia law of inertia law of inertia the first law is also known as law of inertia because he get emphasis keep emphasis on this inertia what was so uh, see also uh, stated by galileo so this is the law of inertia so what is a inertia we have to know what is actually meaning of inertia inertia is related to the mass of a body so if uh, the mass increases on a specific body remember the mass increases the inertia will increase accordingly the mass will less the inertia will less let a big stone and a small stone we take with a big stone and a small stone when we apply the same force on both of those stones we will see the small stone will move fast will move by this applied force when is the force when the body when the small stone move by this force but at the same force that big body of stone not to see move at all we have to here we have concluded that 
a big flower with a body, a big stone, a large stone, have large mass. So it will want to stay uh, at rest hmm. because due to the large mass. Due to less mass of the stone, uh, it moves by a small force uh, move because it has less mass. So this is the cause why a body is at rest uh, having more mass and less mass. Less mass and more mass of a different object, what is the difference in between that? Let's take an example. Uh, that inertia uh, is uh, always depends on its mass only. We will more uh, clear, uh, clarify about this. We will clearly understand about this. Uh, we will take some examples uh, that we will we'll see. We we'll, uh, must uh, understand uh, very easily. First one is that uh, inertia is two types. First is inertia of rest, inertia, two types, first is inertia of rest, rest and inertia of motion, motion. Take an example, we will uh, we'll discuss about inertia of rest. And it's a example. This is the glass. And this is the cardboard. We cover that with glass by cardboard. And place a small coin on it. Coin on it. If you pull this card immediately, what will happen? The coin will drop down immediately. Why it is happening? Because this coin is at in a rest position, hmm. it wants to be put see in a rest position. That is the inertia rest. Due to the to maintain the inertia rest, it will drop down vertically. When we would see uh, uh, immediately pull down this uh, card. That coin immediately enter into the glass vertically. It wants to be in at rest. This is the one of the example. Due to the inertia rest, it maintain its inertia rest. It drop down vertically hmm. because there is no uh, state is there. So it always uh, it comes to a down one. After the second example, we can take. When I uh, would say. A motor car and a cycle. When it start its motion, cycle and motor car start in my at the same time it start motion. Will come forward first. Definitely is a bicycle. Because the car have more mass, so it would say have more mass, so you have more inertia. So, the car cycle has less uh, mass, less inertia. That is why uh, the cycle move would say around fast, move fast, but it cars move in left because it has more inertia. This is the example of inertia rest. Another interesting example we can take also when a bow chain. Man standing on the bus. And the boss. When boss uh, is at rest, when immediately it how to in most. When it move immediately, what will happen? That uh, person immediately fall backward. 
due to the inertia forest why it is happened because the lower part of the body the feet attached to the boss when boss starts move uh, the feet also start move but other part of the body uh, they would maintain their inertia rest so to tend to inertia rest it move it, it wants to move its original position uh, what we are uh, was previously in that position so it fall backward so due to the inertia rest it comes it fall backward and uh, at its original position but which is the attached body attached part of her body it moves with the bus this is the another example of inertia rest then comes to inertia motion when we switch on a fan i would say rotate after which rotating sometimes we switch up the fan uh, what will happen that fan not immediately stop there it continue its motion because a moving body always wants to be in motion uniform motion this is the inertia of motion unless and until that which is external force or the frictional force air friction after applying the air friction it comes to rest after some days but not immediately so this is the another example of inertia of motion the second example also boss we can we see take as a boss example also when boss is in motion and i we are standing uh, we see on the boss when driver brakes the we see immediately what will happen our we will see we will fall forward because our body part lower part of the body which is attached to the bus huh, that comes to rest immediately but the upper part of our body huh, that are in motion that would see due to maintain their which uh, state of motion inertia of motion it always wants to be in motion so to maintain that huh, it falls forward this is the another example of in a set motion so first law we have already discussed first law of motion and which is otherwise known as law of inertia hmm. so in next class we'll discuss second law and third law thank you